Hi everyone, today we will be looking at the Productivity 1000 series PLC email and text communication. Now detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been provided in the description below. If you've not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So up on my screen here, I have our previous version of um, our logging software, which is what you did with the Productivity 1000, which was the data logger. And we we've now taken this and we will modify it, our data logger, so that we will send it an email. And this is a secure PLC email messaging system that's available now in the Productivity uh, Programming Suite. Now, SMTP or transfer layer security email with attachments and the data files can be sent. Now in order to use this feature you have to actually um, have installed uh, Productivity Suite version 3.4 or higher and you have to load the latest firmware version in the Productivity uh, CPU. Now we can have four different accounts um, that um, show our email server. So the first thing what we'll do is we'll check our hardware. So if we go to the setup, hardware configuration, the other way we can do it is use the hardware configuration up here. When we do, we will look at our ethernet port of our CPU. Now in the ethernet port, uh, we will look at our IP setting and our subnet mask and our default gateway must be set. Now, because we are going to be using uh, Gmail to send the information, we also have to, um, they, what's used is a, a name for an email address. So that means that we have to set our DNS address and our alternative DNS. Now I'm going to use 8888 and 8844, which is the Google um, email uh, DNS addresses. So once that's set, we can hit OK. Then if you look over to the left, you'll see mail accounts. So here's my mail accounts. And I've set up two. One is being the uh, SMTP server from Google that do not, does not require a password. And that's all set up there. And you can see my use my server name. And that's the server name for the Google um, server that does not need a password. So this is what we've done before with the uh, brick series of controller using the do more software. So our productivity suite has this uh, built in so we can do it that way but the other way to do it is we'll look at the Gmail account. So there's my Gmail account. My service name is smtp.gmail.com. Uh, my encryption code, my port number is already set for me. Then I have my SMTP server response timeout, which is 10 seconds. We're going to leave it as a default uh, uh, certification. And then my username is my email address and then the username password. So once you have that set up, that is comes back into my email account here. And I've used my username as my name for this mail. So we can just close that off. So that's the uh, thing to set up. And then the last thing to do is we actually look at the instruction. So if we look at the communication, you see the send email right down here, which is right here. So if we look at our send email instruction, we have our mail account and that's selectable. We have the two up there, SMTP server or our Gmail. We're going to select our Gmail. Then we have our from and I've used the same uh, email in quotations. Then we have uh, selected the use structure. This will set up the structure for email, which will set me my in progress, my sent, my success, my error, my error response. All these uh, flags now will be set. And then I've also attached the error and event file and attached the log file. And my destination email address is going to be the same. G. Uh, short at gmail.com and we can have up to four designation destination email addresses. Right. 
So that's our email instruction. And just for reference sake, um, what we can do is we'll talk a little bit about the uh, destination address and using SM, uh, SMS or text messaging to that email address later. So let's cancel out of that. Now the rest of my structure here, you'll see that is my send mail. So I have my variables here. If I look at my tag database, here's my email structure and you'll see my subject. I've said 32 characters and my initial value is ACC automation test P1000 email. My message, uh, I put it as 128 characters and I have productivity 1000 PLC email. So I've put those initial values in there. But sometimes what we want to do is actually send data in our email. So let's take a look at, I'm going to use the copy command and what we're going to do is set up a, uh, a message using the pack string, which is right here. So we're going to pack a string to give me more of my message. So my message in my email is going to say a little bit more and we're going to use switch number two and we're going to use the average scan interval um, value to send a value as well out to my email. So the first thing we need to do is to use some copy characters or character codes using ASCII and when we do that we have to look at the ASCII chart so I'll call back up uh, and look at the ASCII chart and in order to make it look nice on my email we will be using the um, line feed which is A and my carriage return or carriage return line feed so which is D, so in hex, so D in hex and A in hex. So ODOA um, will do my carriage return line feed in my ASCII. So going back to the program, I can see here that I do a copy data. And my copy data, I do the ODOA, so my carriage return line feed. And I do that into the destination of my integer array. And I'm going to copy the value. So then I copy character from my integer array into my destination, which is my string. So CL, or which will give me my carriage return line feed. Then when we do our pack string, you can see I do my email message, which is my original message that we saw in our uh, tag database. Then we'll do our carriage return line feed. Then we'll do switch number two and then we'll do switch number two value. Then we'll do a carriage return line feed. Then we'll do our average scan and then our average scan value. So we can set up that string so it's gonna be nice and readable on our email itself. And then we have our email instruction here that has my um, in process send and send success. And you can see here, there's my switch number two and so if I turn on switch number two, um, you'll see it goes to the one and to the zero. So that's the actual value itself. So let's, uh, let's actually take a look at, uh, at the, my PLC itself. And here's my Ethernet port located right here where we're communicating out to the um, my uh, Gmail account. And switch number two, we'll just turn that on. And what we'll do is in order to send the data, what we'll do is turn on switch number one. And when we turn switch number one on, You'll actually see it's up here and it's in progress. And then what it will do is once it's sent, it'll tell me success. And you'll notice that there is a slight delay. So then what we have to do is we will call up our, our Gmail account. And here is my Gmail account. I'll move that over a little bit. And so you can see here, here's my, uh, subject ACC automation test P1000 email and there's my productivity 1000 PLC email switch number two is equal to one 
and my average scan interval is is nine. So that's 900 microseconds. And then I have my attachments. The first one being my logging information. So there's my logging information right here. And the next one being my error information. So this gives you all my errors that were in the, the PLC or, or events that happen within the PLC, the starting, stopping, etc. So very straightforward, very easy. Okay. And you see that this is uh, just like uh, Automation Direct and all the products that we have. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. And if you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or want to get our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on a link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so be sure to hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription in order to actually get that notification of the new email. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.